hey guys welcome in this channel and today in this lecture we are going to discuss on react native hooks so the thing is very important here like why we use hooks in react native so important point is uh, why this you know hooks comes to the market just because of the functional based approach because we have a two types of component the first component is class based component another one is the functional based component okay so the first component you you know you know about the class based component is called the stateful component as well and uh, the functional component is called as uh, the stateless component so already the class based component have a states so we can easily manage the states inside the component but if we talk on the function based component so we don't have any state here so we can play only uh, from the props but we don't have any state so suppose that we need to hold the state for a time being in the function based component so we don't have any option so that's why the hooks comes to the market so using the hooks we can store the state for time being in the function based component so there are three things only just three steps to use hooks just uh, follow these three steps number one you need to import use state from the react package as you know in this line and the second thing you need to initialize this line inside the function you don't need you don't need to uh, you know if initialize this line outside the function if you will initialize this line outside the function your app will throw the error right okay so this basically what is doing here this line what is doing here and what is the proper functionality of this line so you can see here two variables we have here count and set count you don't need to put this keyword here you can put any keyword whatever you want to put here the first keyword do what this is this basically this keyword this first keyword this first parameter of the keyword sorry this first keyword is basically hold the initial initial value initial value is this okay and whatever you want to put uh, the value like a string like any format of value you want to you can put here so use this state basically hold the initial value and uh, this basically uh, this keyword basically hold the initial value right okay so what is the role of this set count uh, set count we'll see in the third step okay so in the third step we have a two buttons here like first button is plus button and the second button is uh, minus button right so you can see the app here firstly so whenever i will click on this uh, you know uh, plus button the you know the number will increase as you can see here and when we click on the minus button the number will decrease as you can see here okay so this is all over the functionality of the you know react native app which is basically based on react native hooks <coughs> okay so how the the thing is happening in the fun in the app so when you click on the plus button the on press function will fire and this is basically the second parameter of you know in his like the of this line you can see here this set count so basically set count do what it will change the uh, it will change in the initial value okay so first parameter will take care of the initial value and second parameter will change the initial value okay okay so when we click on this plus button the set count basically can do what uh, it will increment by 1 in the initial value and when we click on the minus button it will basically uh, decrement in the initial value so we are doing the same thing whatever we can do in the uh, class based component so i will ex all so ex explain you using the class based component but for timing just see just look at here in the code what i am trying to do here so as you can see in the app plus and minus okay so i'm going to explain you again this use state basically uh, do what uh, it will basically hold the uh, initial value it will basically initialize the initial value and this count uh, variable basically hold the initial value and this set count is basically do what the change the value in the initial okay so suppose that i want to write another name here like uh, set value okay and the count is uh, same should be okay set count set value at the place of set count the app will play the same role again you can see here okay so uh, now suppose that i have the name pu share okay so okay the initial value is pu you can see here so whenever i will click on this 
the plus 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 one will be concatenate with the string. So suppose that when I want like whenever I when uh, when I will click on the plus button, the name will be like Piyush and Bajpayee. Full name I I want to show. I want to show on my screen. So Piyush and Bajpayee. Okay, refresh this app. Piyush Bajpayee. Okay, you can see. Okay, now this is very cool. Okay, so like this we can use the hooks. And if you don't want to use the hooks, uh, so you can use the class-based component. Let's say let uh, get started with this the thing. Okay, let's remove this line. Let's remove this line. Okay, and uh, want to make this uh, class-based component. So class app extend extends the component component and uh, we need to import the component from the react package component okay and uh, we don't need to put this thing here okay <coughs> and uh, export default ठीक है export default okay need to put render here and uh, this thing should be this thing should be here sorry this thing should be here yes i think correct now correct okay okay now uh, you can see this is the class based component and uh, you can see the app here this okay so count uh, is not uh, now the state here so we need to make the constructor props super props and this dot state sorry and uh, sorry again sorry okay count it will be like uh, initial value is zero and whenever we we'll click on the button this will basically set to set count set state basically and uh, in the count uh, will be like plus 1 sorry it will be like uh, this dot state dot count plus 1 okay and uh, the same thing should be with this on props okay props okay okay now the app should work count variable count okay so this dot state dot count now app should work so when i will click on this plus button and again okay so need to minus with the thing okay now you can see here plus and minus is working so this is the class based component approach and uh, that was uh, the hooks approach like uh, whenever you want to hold the value for a time being in the class in the function based component then you can use the hook thank you so much guys for watching the video and i already explain you both scenario like the class based component approach and the function based class uh, based approach i don't think so like uh, nobody youtuber like uh, made on this video like uh, both approaches uh, explain the both approaches but i'm trying to do lots of thing i'm trying to make the good stuff of content so that people comes to me and people need to people uh, will learn more thing from a single video so thank you so much guys for watching the video and please do subscribe my channel so that uh, this will help me a lot thank you so much guys